Hi everyone. Welcome to Study Windows. Today we are going to explore spherical mirrors. Now we all travel from one place to another place by bus. We go to school by bus. But have you seen the mirrors in the bus? There are various kinds of mirrors in each bus. And have you observed this mirror? This is not the normal mirror which we use to comb our hair. It is different. Or when we park our car, we see a different kind of mirror. Have you seen this kind of mirror any time? So we have already learned plain mirror. If you see the surface of this mirror, it is plain. So that is why it is known as plain mirror. So we have learned all this. If we see from the side, so this is plain mirror and left side portion is the glass which is the reflecting surface and right side is the coating. Now if we bend this surface like curved inwards then this reflecting surface will be carved inward. For example, look at this mirror. In the same way, if we paint the surface carved outwards, then reflecting surface also will be carved outwards. Now what kind of mirror is it? These are spherical mirrors. Before going to the session, so what is this? This is our earth and it is a sphere. Take a sphere and we'll cut the sphere in this way and another one part in this way. This surface it is curved outwards. So it is known as convex surface. And this surface it is curved inwards and it is known as concave surface. Now how to remember this convex and concave surface? Both are confusing. You need not to remember everything. Just remember cave. So concave. Have you seen any cave? It looks like this and we enter. It is curved inwards. If you see a section, it looks like this. And if you cut a portion, it will be just similar to our concave surface. So we are able to remember concave surface. Now convex surface, it is simply the opposite of concave. So we can remember both the surface. So we have taken this convex surface and here it is concave surface. If there is a reflecting surface on convex surface with a coating, then it will be convex mirror. If there is a reflecting surface on concave surface with a coating, then it will be concave mirror. These are spherical mirrors. But why these are spherical mirrors? Because both these mirrors are parts of a sphere. So what is spherical mirrors? A reflecting surface which is a part of a sphere is called spherical mirror. So we have seen spherical mirror is of two types. One is convex mirror which is curved outwards and another one is concave mirror which is curved inwards. Let's see convex mirror. So convex mirror this is the reflecting surface and it is curved outwards and in the same way this is concave mirror. Here this is the reflecting surface and it is carved inwards. 
Now we will learn few terminology of spherical mirrors for better understanding of spherical mirrors. So this is convex mirror and this point in the middle of the mirror, middle of the reflecting surface is called as pole. So we will write P and definitely this convex mirror is a part of the sphere. So this is the sphere and the center of the sphere is known as center of curvature and center of curvature is denoted as C and the radius of this sphere is known as radius of curvature and the middle point between pole and center of curvature is known as focal point and it is denoted as F and the main axis which is going through pole, focal point and center of curvature is known as principal axis. So we learn P means pole, C means center of curvature, F means focal point and we learn principal axis. Let's take the terminology for concave mirrors. In the same way of convex mirror, middle point of the reflecting surface is pole that is P and it is a part of a sphere and the center of the sphere is center of curvature which is denoted as C and the radius of the sphere is known as radius of curvature and the middle point between center and pole is focal point that is denoted by F and the main axis which is going through center focal point and pole is known as principal axis. Now take a spherical mirror. Let us take concave mirror and light rays falls on the concave mirrors. This is simply incident rays. Here the area where light rays falls on the concave mirror or the areas where incident rays falls on the concave mirror is called aperture. It is basically the height of the concave mirror. Now if we take convex mirror instead of concave mirror, it will be the same. Here also the height of the concave mirror is the aperture. If we block the light or if we block the area where light is falling on the spherical mirrors then the area will reduce so the aperture will reduce 